Hi guys, this is going to be a reading for my Cancer, Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for today up until November the 21st. We have here already coming out for you, Cancer Mask. So something about someone not showing their true feelings, they're trying to hide behind some thing they're trying to pretend they may be gaslighting you they may be delusional or trying to create some kind of form of delusion or illusion and personify this person may be pretending to be something um the bottom of the deck we have cupid's arrow so there's somebody that you may have caught their fancy um they're trying to have faith love is coming a surprise invitation or meeting hesitation like somebody's trying to maybe hold back wedding rings union i said union union wedding married soul connection eternal love everlasting promise so somebody's trying to hide the fact that they feel like you may be like husband wifey material basically is what this is getting at um somebody has a crush on you this may be a karmic relationship where there's some lessons to be learned through this. And there's a need for you to focus on your self-work and heal and do things that show appreciation for you and to keep you in a high vibe. So let's see what's really going on here. I'm going to use the True Heart Tarot deck for you. What's going on with my cancers in this mask? Tell me about this person hiding behind their feelings. Or who is this hiding behind their feelings? Is this cancer, their person? Tell me more about this. So at the bottom of the deck, we have judgment. There may be something that is definitely about a lesson to be learned of the past and a raise of consciousness is being achieved. Um, it's a new lesson that's being learned here. And it's an epiphany. We have the Hierophant, which is Taurus energy. Someone is trying to hide that they want a higher level of commitment with you. They may be hiding the fact that, like, they do see wedding bills or want to have some kind of, like I said, the higher level of commitment is what I'm hearing, something traditional. Yeah. Four of Wands. This person wants to show you that they really feel like you need to be celebrated and they want to have fun. They feel like when they're around you, you're really good vibes. They feel like you're a divine vessel that is connected to higher energy, higher levels of energy that they normally are not used to being around. Like they feel like you may be a teacher. You may be teaching this person something, teaching them about um, what they may want out of a lover. Yeah. Because here we are, the Princess of Cups. This person feels like you're something special to them. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This, I feel like they feel like you're in a, a, breath, fresh, a fresh breath of air. And they're wanting to open up to you and show you that they care. They do have feelings. That they do want to explore these feelings. And maybe try to open up to a romance with you. This person may have had a realization that they messed up things in the past and they're looking to try to have something with you to show you that, you know, you're somebody that should be admired, that they can provide a comfortable little nest egg. They want to raise their confidence, make sure you feel like you're being admired. And they also want to be victorious in this. They want to basically win. Like, this person wants to marry you, whoever this is. Um, there is something this person may be uh, codependent. They may have some codependency issues, like runner-chaser dynamics. Sometimes the, um, there could be, like, a narcissist empath dynamic where a narcissist is feeding on the empath. Well, that person's trying to break away from that kind of dynamic and deal with those kind of issues and heal. And I feel like they feel like with or around you, they have a better chance of breaking away from whatever they've been attached to that may have been very toxic and obsessive. So um, let's see more what the tarot is saying. Tell me more about this for cancer, please. Tell me more about this for cancer. The wedding bells for sure. 
So the sun, Leo energy here. There's something about you you really showing this person a lot of optimism and happiness where they're really wanting success and they feel like you help them with something that they deal with with either their inner child or maybe their children where they're walking away from something they may have had some kind of abandonment issue that they've had to process through where they felt hopeless and like they were dealing with people that were chaotic and full of drama a lot of players maybe a strained relationship with a mother figure whether that's like a baby mama their mama or uh yo mama but uh <laughs> The sun is coming through. This person feels like you're a big part of what's going to make them stay positive. High Priestess, Pisces, Energy, they feel like that they can tell you their secrets or that you know a lot of secrets and that you bring them a lot of clarity and that you bring them a lot of awareness to some things that maybe they were unfair or maybe that they felt like they were impartial to and now they're starting to get... And it's like you're basically bringing a lot of things to light that maybe were kept hidden from this person. It's like you bring this person a lot of clarity. Um, yeah, like you bring this person a change of perspective, a big realization, like they want victory with you. They feel like they can conquer any problem with you. And this person's wanting to have a conversation with you where they tell you how much you make them happy. It'll probably be coming soon. You make them feel like they're divinely connected to um, angels and stuff is the best way I can put it. Or like God, a higher power. Like you bring this person peace. Like they have a lot of peace when they're around you. They know that there's no, no, no cutting corners, no illusions, no BS. They know that you are straight to the point. And they like that. Like they, they want a higher connection with somebody like you is what I'm getting. So what else can we see this person doing towards cancer this week? What else can cancer see from this person this week and guys we will be rolling the dice to see what planets and what zodiac signs will be prevalent for you this week after this tarot segment so four of wands coming back out this person's manifesting a good happy time with you like they feel like there's something about you being very generous they like how you seem like to be a team player they feel like you are somebody that they can have a good time with and people that they like to be around will have a good time with you too they feel like you bring like you're the best option out of the, the other options they have like you're the option that brings them peace and happiness and they like that vibe six of pentacles at the bottom of the deck they feel like you're a very fair and generous person they feel like they can count on you they feel like that you are somebody that can reciprocate how it is they want to feel and provide what they can provide. Like, they know you can stand your own ground. And some way you've helped this person is probably really, um, really, some of you maybe haven't talked about children, but, um. It's time to release negativity, full moon in Scorpio. So I feel like that's auspicious since we're in Scorpio season now. Um, step out of your comfort zone, north node. So anything that's negative and not bringing any kind of positivity to your life, it's a real need for you to cut it out because prosperity lies ahead, new moon in Taurus. There's some really good things, really big things headed your way. So you don't want to like stall them by having negative energy in your space. So let's go ahead and see about those zodiac signs. We're going to do three. So we got Libra coming through some air energy there we have leo stepping back out again and who else we also have taurus coming back out so you have taurus leo and libra two venus signs and let's see about the planetary energy so mercury will be strong for you cancer mercury will be very strong and Venus energy, which isn't surprising since Libra and Taurus are ruled by Venus as well. So that is what I have for you, Cancer. I hope you guys enjoyed the message. I am trying to put out more and do things a little bit differently. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Let me know down below in the comments if this resonates. And hit that thumbs up because I know you like this content. And until next time, Cancer, stay blessed.